deep in the jungle of Sri Lanka, you'll find the most beautiful train ride on planet Earth. A ride that will take you through the depths of Mother Nature and be an absolute adrenaline rush for your soul. And we will be taking this train for nine hours across the country to a town called Ella. Since I have to get there to meet with a tea plantation because I am currently amidst starting a wellness tea company where I am publicly documenting building this business from zero to $1 million in sales. But before this train adventure begins, we need to get the candy. What is it? You open it. Part of Chris's job is trying the food first. Mm -hmm make sure I don't die. Bro, it's really good. Like, I promise you, it tastes like candy. I know you like candy. And we're going to candy. <laughs> Whoa. That is pretty good. It tastes like a Starburst. Yeah. After a nice three and a half hour drive, we made it here to candy. And this is going to be our home for the next night. The Rad Hotel. So they must really love candy here in candy. We just got into our hotel and they brought us some toffee, some sesame candy, as well as just straight up sugar cubes. And he said you don't put this in your drink or anything, you just eat it straight, so. I love it. As a kid, I used to always love eating the sugar cubes. Here in candy, you get to do it. My childhood dream. <laughs> I love this place already. Rad Hotel, not bad. Not bad at all. I booked this place literally today and was $109 on Expedia. Looks great. So we made it here to Candy because tomorrow we are going to be hopefully getting on the train to Ella. It is almost as difficult to get Taylor Swift tickets as it is to get train tickets on this train, especially on a weekend. It's kind of like a 50-50 chance that we do get on. We did hit up a couple companies online and I do think we secured our tickets, but you kind of just really never know. So hopefully tomorrow morning they show up and we will be on the world's most beautiful yet dangerous train ride. But first up, dinner. All right, let's get it. They serve food a little bit differently out here in Sri Lanka. So miraculously, someone dropped off our train tickets and it looks like tomorrow, bright and early, we're gonna be off to Ella. Hopefully this works out, but it's looking good. You think we're gonna be okay? Yes, sir. Gonna be good. Yes. All right, if not, we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> So before we go on this wild train adventure, I did just want to make something clear. How you guys see the finished product of these YouTube videos, and you don't see the behind the scenes of how much stress and anxiety and chaos that goes on behind the scenes. And that this is a job. It is a lot of fun, I do love to travel the world, I love making these videos more than anything, but it's not just all fun and games. Where I feel like most people who watch my channel are similar, where they're go-getters, they love to travel, they love to grab life by the balls. And being a passionate person like that, it can sometimes consume you. And I can truthfully say, after doing therapy with BetterHelp for the past two years, that it's helped me with so much from relationship issues to even having a better work-life balance. And why I chose to be a customer of BetterHelp is because they pair you with a great therapist that specializes with your specific needs. BetterHelp truly has helped me out a lot and given me more clarity and I think overall happier. And I will leave a link down below in the description or you can go to betterhelp.com slash brettconti. Clicking that link does help me out a lot and help support this channel, but also gives you guys 10% off your first month with BetterHelp. So you can try it out, connect with a therapist, and see if it works for you. BetterHelp's mission is to make therapy more affordable, more accessible, and easier to find the best therapist most suitable for you. So if you are going through something, consider online therapy with BetterHelp by going to the link in the description down below or by going to betterhelp.com slash Conti. All right, now let's get on with this train ride. So we have successfully made it to the train station, but now, we are just keeping our fingers crossed that everything works out, our tickets work, and we're able to get on our train to Ella. And I do want to say how if you do buy your train ticket in advance, the earliest you can buy it is 30 days. You can pay as little as two bucks to go pretty much across the entire country. We bought it on the black market for 20 bucks a ticket, but 
I still think it's gonna be worth it for us as a bucket list item. And what makes this such a bucket list item is because it is such a scenic ride, as well as there are no doors on the train. So the entire time that you're on this thing, it's like it's a roller coaster. Just a eight hour roller coaster that is. Well look who finally decided to show up. Only about 40 minutes late. Oh my god. This is gonna be crazy. There's so many people. So our tickets are for the second class reserve, meaning that we had assigned seats. But as you could see as the train was pulling up, there is a third class where there are no seats and they just squish as many people as they can into one cart. So let this nine hour train adventure to Ella begin. So we've been held up for a little bit now at one of the stops. So it's a perfect time for our Sri Lanka snack haul. We got the goodies. As soon as I said that, now we're moving. I'll nice take it. Man. Yeah. I'll take it. First up, we have these Kalo cookies. Kind of like an Oreo. And also, they were like 50 cents. Arguably, better than Oreos. Mm -hmm. Got our nice cookies. They do taste. They taste pretty nice. Black Magic cereal bar. Prime nuts. Didn't know Logan Paul was making nuts. Oh yeah, the best part. We got some funky drinks. It literally looks like a, like uh, a dumbbell. It's a dumbbell. <laughs> Pretty good. It's so loud. So what is so unique about this train is that the doors are off. Chris already went for a ride. How was it? Insane. Definitely be careful. Like you can get whipped by some like bushes oh. or just like that. There's like a bridge. Yeah, you gotta watch out for sure. It gets kind of close, and it's so rocky. I've never been on a train that makes your heart race like this. This is way better than any roller coaster I've ever been on. There's no seat belts, and you could die. But that's what makes it so much fun. So we are now exactly two hours and 53 minutes into this train adventure. And I must say, the first 30 minutes to an hour was not as scenic as it has been now. There's so many tea plantations, fields, and also here in the second class, there isn't so many people. So you can just sit by the door, enjoy the views, and hang out, literally. Solid you like that, that, solid, that solid, joke was good? Dad, solid dad joke. Another pro tip, make friends with that man right there who's like the air conditioning control center person. And he's been letting us know 10 minutes before which side has the better side. Guys, I just want to give a huge shout out to Chris's mom for packing wet wipes for him. These have been a lifesaver here on this train. Look at how dirty this is. Yeah, just from holding onto the pole with a hundred other people doing it as well. Not very clean. Luckily, Chris's mom packed his wet wipes. Thanks, Chris's mom. So, we made it here to Ella, and we decided to stay on the train for another stop because to get that iconic Sri Lanka train over the bridge shot, you need to go past Ella. Everyone's getting off. They have no idea that the best view is just one stop after Ella. Yeah. It's been a long day, everyone's tired, the content doesn't sleep. The boys are staying on the train and gonna try and get some cool shots over the bridge here in Ella. That's what makes it worth it. Right? And we have the whole train to ourselves now. This is gonna be awesome. Now we are in the back of a tuk-tuk, heading back to Ella. But Chris, I would say, mission complete. Absolutely. Good and, work. And more importantly, the timer. What are we at? Seven hours and 20 minutes. It's like the, the total train. And we started it late too, so yeah. it's really like probably 7.40. Yeah, like 7.30, 7.40. Oh, yeah. So now we just took a tuk-tuk back to Ella, where we are staying here at the Ella Nature Nest. And now after that crazy ride, we have to go down these stairs to our stay. Really curious to see what this place looks like. Booked it for 38 bucks on Expedia. Let's see what we got. Oh, 
This thing's so heavy. Well guys, that train ride was pretty dang incredible. Honestly, a lot better than I thought. Since I knew it was gonna be around eight hours and didn't know if it would get boring, but for the entirety of the ride, it was just mother nature showing off. It was like mother nature giving you a lap dance for eight hours. And now we just made here to Ella where I have some meetings with the tea plantation and some other farms as well as going to explore all of this area of Ella. And so far, definitely liking what I'm seeing. Besides all these roosters over here because that's definitely gonna wake us up at the crack of dawn. So before we get started with day two here in Ella, I wanted to show you guys our crib. I mean, it's a pretty nice crib, I'm not gonna lie. All jokes aside, we are staying in this place called Ella Nature Nest. It's a pretty standard room, but you do get two big beds and even a balcony with an incredible view of the mountains. And this balcony is is pretty sweet. <laughs> you can see some roosters, there's a bunch of chipmunks, and supposedly, if you wait out here long enough, you'll see monkeys flying around the trees. So this here is Ella Town. It's very similar to a Bali in Indonesia. There's a lot of travelers, a lot of cool cafes, but definitely a lot less people. Now first up, before we head to these tea plantations, let's just stop at a cafe. We were over here and it was popping. But now we are just at this cool cafe that has sand as the ground. Before we try and rent some scooters and head out to the tea plantation. The whole reason why we're out here. So after that beautiful ride, we made it here to the tea factory and plantation where we are not only gonna get to go into the tea plantations and get to pick tea leaves, we're also gonna get to go into the factory and see how everything with the logistics and operations work. Really cool to come out here and see firsthand exactly how a tea production company in Sri Lanka works. <laughs> this is how you wear it? Yes. This is how you wear it, right? Yeah, that's how you wear it. All right. I thought you were just messing with me. <laughs> if you bring this type of leaf to the factory, you will get always good prices for us. Ah, we'll try and make you some good money. <laughs> <laughs> so with starting this new wellness tea company, I wanted to put in my 10,000 hours and learn everything I can about tea. And I have been studying as if this was my master's and spending so many hours already and learning things like how tea all comes from one plant called Camellia sinensis. So whether it's green tea or black tea, it's all from the same plants. And we are surrounded by a lot of those plants right now where we are gonna get picking and fill up this basket with some tea. Also, I thought the guy was messing with me when he told me to wear it like this, but I guess this is how you do it. This is what you gotta go through to start your own tea company. You gotta get into the fields and learn how it's all done. Let's get to work. They also said that the women who pick the tea do this barefoot because it is so steep and you have more grip when you're barefoot. Yep, this is a little gnarly. <laughs> Should we take off our shoes too? <laughs> you know what? We're getting down and dirty. Oh, thank you. She's helping me out. He's taking off his shoes, Saleh. Oh, I see. <laughs> Screw it. Who needs them? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get to work. She's so much better than me. How do you know where they are? <laughs> So these are good? So this, like this is good? Yeah. Just that. Oh, okay. Okay. That one right there. Where's good? Good? <laughs> We're a good team. Good job. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what we are collecting right now are these smaller leaves that are a lot harder to collect and only during a certain time throughout the year here in Sri Lanka. They are having us out here working for them. They're gonna make this into a nice cup of white tea. So another thing to know about the different types of teas are that black tea has the highest level of caffeine and then green tea, which is more expensive, has less caffeine but more antioxidants. Antioxidants, as we know, very healthy, good for you, helps with weight loss and so many other things, but they are a little bit harder to collect. But luckily, we got our girl right here. <laughs> wow, look at that. Oh. Oh, oh no. <laughs> 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 Very good. Sorry. 
It's my first day on the job. <laughs> oh, there's some good ones. Wow, this is a good tree. Yeah. I feel better. Yeah. I feel more planted to earth, pun intended. <laughs> but now the issue is I don't know where my shoes are. Yeah, you come here, it's nice shoes. <laughs> So now after picking the tea leaves, we are gonna get to see how it goes from plants into packaging. So we are here in the factory now, and we have our expert, Hermandra, who's gonna explain us how all this works. So Hermandra, you studied tea for four years. Yeah. So you're gonna now give us a little Cliff Notes version of everything you know about tea and explain to us? Yes, I will explain. Come with me, I will show you. This is the part we pick from the field. They pick this part from morning to evening, they pick. Then in the evening, they bought it to the factory using lorries and tractors. After they bought it to the factory, they bought it to upstairs and they spread all the green leaves throughout this trap. 100 feet length, 6 feet width. Whoa. Go through this, is just like hair dry. Like man, that's hair dry. Yeah. We reduce the moisture slightly, you can see. First and after first. Day. We are now in Willy Wonka's workshop of tea. 300 kilograms capacity, rolling just like hand rolling. Feels nice. It's like a shake weight for the tea. It's really loud in here, but this piece of technology is what sifts through the different particles of the tea leaves to separate from the brown part of the tea to the black part of the tea and can segregate it perfectly. I don't know if you can hear me, but it's pretty cool to hear him talk about it. So Himandra just explained how it takes three days to go from this, from the yeah. plants, to get to the tea that you see in the packaging. Really cool that we just got like a fast forward intro into tea yeah. and getting to see everything from picking it through all the machinery yeah. to here to this. So what makes it exactly like cut finer? Roll. Just from rolling, rolling, it rolling yes. longer I saw and you longer. Three times rolling. Three times, okay. This is what it looks like when it's only rolled once, but the more you roll it, the finer the cut will be. So this is it rolled three times. And as you can see from the teas, it's so much darker because there's so many more chemicals that can get into it. Natural chemicals. Natural chemicals, not the chemicals we put in our food back in America. Very light, very mm -hmm. light. Yeah, not too much of a, not too strong of a taste. People in the world, demand will be different. Someone like light tea, someone like a strong tea. Manja, my man, thank you for the tour. Yes. <laughs> you gave us a tea tour. We'll give you a pizza tour, okay? Yes, sir. Thank you very much. <laughs> thank you. So now to end the day, we are doing a hike to Little Adam's Peak. And I must say, Sri Lanka truly has been one of the most beautiful places I have ever been. Like, I was expecting it to be incredible, but this, this is just next level. Easily top three places I've ever traveled. After a nice 30 minute hike, we made it to the top of Little Adam's Peak. Also, it's not quite little. We are pretty high up. The hike is little, but the view, grand. Uh. You know Chris has a good joke when he approves it. That's right. If you see any of the big memes on the channel, chances are it was done by yours truly. And I see the love. You guys love Boatman. I'm Boatman. We're gonna find more opportunities like that. Don't you worry. Now the thing about all these beautiful tropical places is it can go from sunny to thunderstorm instantly. Starting to look a little bit too gray for my liking and also feeling some mist. So we are gonna head off of Little Adam's Peak. We might get swallowed by this cloud. It's just the price you pay to come to these tropical paradises. Still worth it. Still worth it for sure. Yeah, I think it's time to go. Carry me away. All right, I know we said we were gonna go because it looks like it might pour but we found this pretty sketchy rock over here that I'm gonna sit on and Chris is gonna try and fly the drone over me. This whole trip and whole video has just been about risky business. Uh, oh, I feel like we gotta do it. Like when else are we gonna be somewhere like this again? First we were hanging off of trains, now we're hanging off of rocks. Sorry, mom.
Starting this new tea company has been more than just starting a business, but more like raising a child. After devoting the past couple of months to traveling around the world and meeting with different tea plantations and gurus, I now am feeling more confident than ever about finalizing my product and taking it to market. I do have one more video from here in Sri Lanka and then excited to take you along with me as we go into the next stages of starting this business. I will leave a link down below to sign up for the tea company's newsletter where you can get access before everyone else. Until next week, let's get out and get busy in the next one.